Hi everyone, um, in this video I'm just going to show you how to do a factory reset on a Google Pixel device. Now um, this is meant for I believe Pixel 5 and higher. It may be a little bit different for much older Pixel devices. So I would um, do some research on the exact phone that you're using. This is a Google Pixel 7a, it is now my backup mobile. Um, so if you want to do a factory reset on your phone because you bricked your phone, or if your phone's the set where he's unlocked at least, you just want to sell it, you want to give it away to someone, or you just want to start from scratch, I will first show you how to do it via the settings menu, and then after this I will show you how to do it via the Android recovery. Now it's a bit of a process to get into the recovery, but once you're in the recovery, you'll be pretty much um, sound from there. So to do that, you first need to go to the settings, which um, will be um, the blue cog icon, and then you need to scroll down until you see system. And then once you see reset options, you click on reset. And then you'll see a um a right erase all data factory reset option. And this is I'm going to wipe your phone to factory defaults. So once you've entered your PIN and verified your identity, it's going to completely nuke your phone and you'll be a fresh new phone of the box. Now that's via the settings menu. If you want to reset your phone via the recovery, so let's say you you forget your password or um, your phone's acting funky and you just can't get into it, um, this is the second option for you. And what you need to do first, your phone must be in a powered off state. Now this is a Google Pixel 7a, so it may be a bit different for your Pixel device. Um, for Google Pixel 7a devices, it may be for other Pixels as well, so Pixel 8, Pixel 9, Pixel 8a, Pixel 6, etc. Do some research on the recovery combo process. For Google Pixel 7a devices, to at least power the phone off. If you um, click on the volume up and the power button at the same time, you'll then get a um, power menu. Well, now you see a power menu. <laughs> you then need to click um, power off. And what we're going to do with, with that, um, we are then going to put it into something called fast boot which tells the phone what do you want to boot to pretty much. So what we want to do is you want to press the volume down button and the um, volume and power button, sorry, for about three seconds. So I'm going to press volume down first and then I'm going to count to three. It's because you, you should do it for three seconds. So three, two, one. And there you go. You are now in fast boot. If you've done it for longer, if you've done it for too long, you'll end up booting into normal mode. Um, you are now in fast boot anyway. What you then need to do, you will see a um, list of options. What you need to do, you see where it says press volume keys to select different menu? Um, press volume down and then press volume down again until you see recovery mode. And then click on that. This will then boot your phone into that recovery menu. Well, in a moment anyway. Your phone needs to be programmed first for it to go into the menu. And this is just how Android works. You should see a no command symbol like this. Or if you have like a custom recovery, it may be, may be a bit different for you. Um, what you then need to do, when you see the no command with the Android bot symbol, this is where it gets a bit fiddly. You need to press both volume down and power button at the same time. And then whilst both buttons are pressed, press the volume up button. That will then put you in the menu. So if we press both buttons and then volume up, you are now in the um, special Android menu. And what you are looking for is wipe data slash factory reset, as you can see, as you can see here. Just be warned, um, if we go down to that option, once you um, wipe your phone and click factory data reset, this will not nuke your phone to basically factory settings, but this is where the big caveat comes in. Um, once you do a factory reset via the recovery, you will be asked to put in the original pin that was set up when you first set up using the phone, or it might ask you to use the original Google account when you first set the phone up. This is to simply stop your phone getting used if it was to be stolen or someone thought, oh yeah, I found a phone, let's wipe it and use it for ourselves. That's just what it's called. It's called fine. It's called factory reset protection. 
and that's what it does basically. So as long as you know your password, then you'll be all right. But this process is used more if you can't get into your phone. So yeah, I hope this video helps you out. If you liked what you saw, cool. If not, fair enough, just let me know and I'll do my best to um, make things a bit better. In a future episode, I will show you how to actually reflash your Android phone. So if you ever need to um, reflash it or just bring it back to stock firmware, I will show you how to do that. I have a spare phone I can do it on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But for now, take care and bye-bye. <laughs>